Hello, my name is Linda Saltz. I'm an Advanced Certified QuickBooks Advisor. I work for QBalance.com. We are Intuit Solution Providers. We sell, support, and provide training on QuickBooks Enterprise. This is a live recorded demonstration. It is video number two. Video number one covered the differences between Pro, Premier, and Enterprise, and it also covered the new features of QuickBooks Enterprise version 11. If you missed the first video or would like to skip to the next video, simply type this URL in your browser and that will take you to the list of videos that you can click on and view. So this is demonstrating QuickBooks Enterprise. Video number two is a general overview of QuickBooks Enterprise. We'll go ahead and open QuickBooks now and take you to the home page. The home page is, is broken up into logical sections. This is a nice, easy mapping of what QuickBooks offers as a vendor section in this region, has a customer section, has an employee section, a company section, and a banking section. Over here, key to account balances, you can prevent these amounts from showing depending upon your user rights. There's an employee section where you can enter timesheets, the time that the employee spends on each project or job. That information can be accumulated and invoiced out. You'll notice that it goes right into the invoice and it also can be converted into payroll. Payroll module where you get the tax tables and the forms is an extra fee. QuickBooks is payroll ready, but each year you will have to pay an, a service fee in order to complete your payroll from within QuickBooks. There are three different payroll options that you can choose. There's the QuickBooks Enhanced Payroll, where you do it yourself, but QuickBooks will print the form and will tell you what taxes to pay. Then there's the Assisted Payroll, where they actually take the money out of your bank. It works very similar to Paychecks or ADP. If you're interested in that, you can call me for a quote. It's 800-216-0763. We have the company section up here. This is where the backbone of QuickBooks is maintained. Set up your chart of accounts, your inventory items, and the inventory advanced activities. You would build your assemblies. In other words, put in your, your daily production runs each day. You would just have inventory, transfer inventory between locations, and then it's just a list of different inventory locations. Under your banking menu, you reconcile right within QuickBooks. QuickBooks, one of the, one of the things I like best about QuickBooks is its zoomable screens and reports where you can just drill down into the reports until you arrive at the original transaction. Well, the reconciliation window is pretty wonderful as well. It makes uh, reconciling your bank account a really painless task, a very painless task. There are times when you just want to write a check to pay your landlord or pay your loan payments or, or your monthly recurring payments and you can write your checks here. I'd like to take this opportunity to, to talk about the online banking in QuickBooks. It's really quite advanced. Most of the larger banks in the U.S. integrate with QuickBooks where you can actually write a check and from within, check, within QuickBooks click this online payment and send it off to be paid. The check will be cut by your bank and mailed out on your behalf. In addition, you can download your um, daily bank transactions into your register and download your daily like, credit card charges into the credit card register. So you can have up-to-date balances on how much money is in the bank and how much money you owe out. Let's quickly run through the vendor purchase cycle and a customer sales cycle. Let's go ahead and, and, and choose store number five, estimate 71011, and let's go ahead and create an order they called and they're looking from warehouse to ship a quantity of 150. If we look at our quantity, we see that warehouse number one has zero on hand. Warehouse number two is 68, but they don't want to pay the extra shipping fees. So we'll go ahead and, and have 
we'll have our vendor ship to warehouse number one so we can in turn ship it out to our customer. Close. We're going to sell these at $25 a piece with a total order of $37.50. We'll hit save and close. Customer calls up, says they want the quote. So we'll go ahead and convert this to a sales order. We now have an open sales order that we can track. 150 items and at this point it's time to place an order to our vendor. We'll create a purchase order for all allowed items or we can create a purchase order just for specific items on the sales order. Converts it. QuickBooks calls up our vendor that's sitting on this item as being the preferred vendor. Enters a purchase order for the amount that we need. That, that these amounts came directly from our items list. We can go ahead and, and email this purchase order directly to our vendor. Save and close. Let's go back to our home page. A couple of days go by. We receive the inventory in stock. So it, we have a choice to receive the inventory with the bill or without the bill. So if you have a warehouse department, they'll receive the inventory without the bill. If your accounts payable department is entering the bills and receiving them as well into QuickBooks, we'll receive the inventory with the bill. We'll call up our preferred vendor. It tells us that open purchase orders exist for this vendor. Do you want to receive against one or more of these orders? We'll say yes. We'll select the purchase order that we just entered and QuickBooks converts this purchase order for us, we just have to enter a reference number. QuickBooks read the terms from the vendor center under Forster Lighting and it read the purchase order quantity and cost. If we didn't receive all of them, if we only received let's say 85 of them, we can replace this number and the purchase order will remain open. But for this exercise, we'll receive them, the entire balance of the order. Let's save and close. Our goods have come into stock. We're now ready to ship on our sales orders. Shipping department will open their sales, open sales order by customer report. We'll see our order here, 3750, and they can at this point uh, create an invoice or they can print a packing slip to put inside the box. All our forms from our packing list to our invoices to our purchase orders are completely customizable. So what you see here is not what you would end up with. This is just a generic form. But this packing slip can be included in the container shipped over to your customer. Once it's shipped, we can create an invoice for this item for all of the sales order or if we're back, in, back ordering any of the items we can create an invoice for selected items. If you'll notice amount to invoice here 150 can be replaced with 85 at this point but we're, for this purpose we will ship the entire invoice and we'll hit save and close. Let's go back to the home page. By converting the sales order to an invoice, it automatically will close the open sales order and remove it from your open sales order report. That invoice now shows up on our accounts receivable report. Bakers is the customer that we chose. Invoice 71145 for 3750 is the invoice that I just created. We'll go ahead and receive payment against that invoice. We'll go ahead and receive $37.50. QuickBooks has an awesome merchant account. You can sign up and actually have your customers pay you by credit card. I highly recommend it. If you've had any trouble in the past with your current systems reconciling your bank account, you can kiss that problem goodbye. It is truly a terrific feature. It'll save you many hours, I, I would even days a month making sure that you get every cent deposited that you're entitled to receive.
So from 1031 2010, we'll hit click on Save and Close. And we've now gone from an estimate to a sales order to a purchase order. We've re received inventory, entered the bills, then from the sales order went to create invoices, receive payments, and, and to record a deposit. This was just a general overview. We'll do more in video number three. You know, there's lots more that I'd like to show you. If you can stick around, you will have to click on video number three. Just as a brief, a brief reminder, we're QBalance.com, Intuit Solution Providers. We, we do sell, support, and train on QuickBooks Enterprise.